Yo, what is good, internet? I missed doors by a couple minutes. Had to go out to get gas because Michelle needs the car tonight. So it's about 10 after 10. But we're still here pretty early. Valley Village, Branford. You know the store. Nothing ever good here, but I come anyways because it's close to my house. So let's go. So I found a Shania Twain shirt. It's from her Rock This Country tour. It's only a medium. And like the print's in pretty bad shape, so I think I'm gonna leave it. There is comps for like 25 bucks, but it's already nine dollars, so I think I'm gonna leave it. This is definitely like early, early 2000s. It's on the Delta Pro weight, 549, and the stitching on the sleeves come undone, so I'm gonna leave it. There's also no hanger. I don't know where it came from. It was just sitting on the top, so. I don't like doing that, but a metalcore kid left their merch here. Somebody was a small. Stick to your guns, and then there's this sick Veil of Maya. This is dope. It's only a small, but these old Nike Airs are sick. They're like really stiff though. They're in good condition. Probably early 2000s. 1799, and they're only a size eight, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm not really messing with shoes too much anymore. Just found this Mecca print shirt, button down. This price is ridiculous though. 11.99. Stitching's all messed up. I'm leaving it. This is a Joe Flacco. I think it's real, but it's got like some issues. I don't know if you can see them, but there's some marks there. Joe Flacco Ravens. It's only about 30 bucks and it's currently 15 already, so not worth it. This 90s Reebok muscle shirt is sick. It's got like a discoloration on, on it, I think. I can't really tell. Like, it looks like it's like yellowed. It's also $10. I think I'm getting nothing today by the looks of it. There's also this. Mecca football jersey. The Mecca 05. But, 16 bucks is just way too much. It's so stupid. This West Virginia Mountaineers is nice. It's definitely vintage starter. Got the starter hit on the sleeve. I don't know if 12.49 seems like a bit much. Like, what would I get? 25? That's not. That's not enough. We'll see. This is sick. Expo Athletic baseball coat thing, I guess. 25.99. It's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. I don't think I'm getting nothing today by the looks of it. This jacket is gorgeous. Great tag Nike. $25.99. It's my size, but I have enough jackets, luckily, because I really like this. But I'm not paying 26 damn dollars. Like, come on. Kind of think way Buzz Lightyear. The Space Ranger is always ready for action. Come on, let's go! He's in really bad shape. He's got the helmet though, which most of them are broken off. Mine doesn't even have the helmet, but... Ten dollars is too much for him. Unless it was for a personal, but I already have one, so it can stay. Okay, I guess I am buying something. This is something that falls in this so weird I have to buy it. This is an inflatable Goldberg chair. Like, who the hell thought that was a good idea? It's only five bucks. I'm getting it. Found two Monster High, but these ones are cheap ones. This is a Laguna Blue from 2017. And this one, I don't even know who it is. But she doesn't have any markings. So honestly, I think she might be a fake. But they're not worth grabbing. We'll leave them. Absolutely trash day of Valley Village today. We got some more running around to do, so 
hopefully it turns out better than that. This is pretty cool, but, you know, definitely didn't really make my day worth it. I might be able to get like 35, 40 bucks for it just because there's literally nothing listed and it's just weird enough that people would probably want it. So we'll see. I don't know. Who knows? Some days you can't win. Some days are trash. But that's part of the job. It's still better than working a nine to five, that's for sure. So see you at the next spot. All right, second stop of the, well, third stop of the day. I stopped at the booth. I didn't show you because I was just picking up stuff that we sold that I have to ship out tomorrow. But third stop, we're at the Goodwill where they have everything at good prices randomly now. So let's go inside. Well, Goodwill was absolutely terrible. There was not even anything worth showing while I was in there. It was just straight garbage. It wasn't busy. There was nobody there. Just, you know, nothing worth buying or even really looking at. So um, on to the next one. We're going to go to a small town thrift store. It's kind of on the way home. It's like 10 minutes out of the way on the way home. But I don't think I've ever been there. So I'll see you there. All right. We're in the sleepy little town of... Norwich, Ontario. There's a thrift store right there. Let's go see if they got anything good. So far today has been trash, so come on country store, let's go. This is nice, just a vintage fleece. Just says nature, has like a wolf. There's no prices, it just says medium. So I don't know how much it's gonna be, I'm not sure. If it's cheap, I'll pick it up. This Tommy Hilfiger's dope. It's a large, definitely vintage. Also doesn't, oh, $7, that's not bad. I'll grab that. So the uh, nature fleece thing was like four bucks and then the Tommy was $7. So uh, that was, you know, they're both good pickups. They, nothing crazy. Definitely not getting rich, but you know, I wasn't really gonna make a video out of today cause it was so crap, but that's just kind of the reality. Sometimes it sucks. So um, yeah, today, was not a thrifting day. But there's lots of other days where I find tons of crazy stuff and, you know, they balance all out. And, hey, I could be sitting at a desk job right now being miserable. But instead, I'm in Norwich, Ontario. And, yeah, we're having fun. We're, even if we get crappy stuff. I kind of wish that Tommy would fit me, but um, I've got more than enough sweaters and everything. And I'm bad at keeping too much stuff so I need to sell so um yeah tomorrow I'll be in Hamilton because I have to do some shipments so we'll go do that adventure there's a couple of stores in Hamilton that I never really hit so I think I might go uh do a few more but anyways see you in the next video goodbye y'all be good